What's up, everybody? I wasn't even fishing yet and I already got a giant. Dang, these things pull hard. Y'all see how much pressure I'm putting on this old salty? A lot. got 15 pound braid and a 20 pound test leader. You can't pull any harder than I'm pulling. Some kind of array. I was trying to yeah. look at yeah. oh, we got him in a spin. I was trying to hook that trap right there. And end up hooking this thing somehow. Here, Dan, you'll hold the cross for a sec. See if I can't land him. Well, we got him. I think. Let me see if I can get him up here. Yo, look at that! Whoa. He's trying to stick me. Look at that. Yeah. yeah, they got a barb, and he will wreck you with that thing. That's what happens. Whoa! Chill out. Chill out. Chill out. Y'all see that? 20 pound test fluorocarbon. Let me see this little rod. Little old, old salty. It ain't even much of a rod. It's just a seven to three, 10 to 20. And I just spanked that big old, I guess this is a cow nose ray. But here, I'm not into hurting this thing right now. He's too pretty. So oh, let's go. Oh, he swam away just that fine. What's up everybody? Blue Gabe. Something totally different today. Something I'm not used to doing. Y'all see how beautiful it is? Yeah. Yeah, you see that? I don't know what day it is. It's got to be close to December 1st. And nope, I'm not going fishing. Nope, I'm not going hunting. Where's he at? You see that? We can't even go to church today because my kid don't have shoes. So we're walking up in here in Bells. We're going to get shoes. Then we're going to go get a Christmas tree. Then we're going to pull crab traps. And y'all are going to ride along vlog style. Been getting a lot of requests to do it. So y'all are going to get to see what we do on a day-to-day -day basis. Watch it. Like, look, only in Arrington. Yeah, but we're not here for toys. Yeah. We're here for shoes. Yeah, and those are drums. I wish I could have a drum, but I can't. <laughs> I'm too old to have one. You're too old for a drone? Yeah. How about, are you old enough for shoes? Yeah. Okay, let's go get you some shoes. Apparently, my four-year-old is too old for a drone. All you parents out there, and I'm sure y'all are going to leave some comments below. We have house. an animal or a creature that eats socks at my house. I can buy packs of socks, and they're all gone in a week. So my kids, when yeah. these socks that I'm about to buy are gone are gonna go to school without socks. They're gonna start looking homeless and I'm not even gonna care because I'm tired of spending money on socks. You hear that, Jake? Yeah. yeah My is. kids will be the ones there with old nasty shoes and no socks on, yeah. but a lesson will be learned. Dang, Jake, who is that? We, we ended up in the wrong aisle, y'all. Y'all, we came in here to buy one pair of shoes and we're leaving with the whole store. Yeah. Luke. Luke, come on. So I'm gonna tell y'all the first hard thing about vlogging that I've figured out. Music. Everywhere you go, you don't realize that they're playing music. Whether it's softly in the background or wide open loud, there's music everywhere. And we can't put that on YouTube. How annoying is that? Look, you're supposed to be wearing your shoes. But I'm dragging this thing. Pick it up. So, 
Now we're headed to get a Christmas tree. Then we're headed blue crabbing. I can promise y'all, y'all don't want to go nowhere because this is about to get real. It's about to get real. It's about to get real. I need Shout out to all you single parents out there, or even Dad, you parents. I need a submarine for 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 for, for, for Santa. A but, submarine? Yeah, I need a submarine for me. Y'all see all these gray hairs? That's what's raising a nine-year-old and a four-year-old will do. And a four-year-old. <laughs> Let's go get a Christmas tree. How you like those new Crocs? They're great. All right. Time to pick out a tree. Y'all pick out the prettiest tree you can find. You want the very first one you walked in and seen? Yeah. Let's go look around. What about that great big one, Luke? Oh, I don't think that's gonna fit in her house. What? It's too big, Dad. I love the smell of Christmas trees. It's very hard to pick out a Christmas tree. Come on, let's. We can't pick out these ones because they're too big. Well, find one that fits. You what? Over here's the ones that might fit. Yeah, here's the ones that fit. No, those are too big too. No, I don't like that one. It's not fluffy enough. Yeah, it is. Look at all these fluffy things. Look, see the bottom of it? It's all just flopped down. Over here, look. Leave a comment below if you go and cut your own Christmas tree or you buy one. Here in Florida, we can't cut them. We gotta go buy them. I like this one. Yeah, me too. I like this tree. <laughs> yeah. Let's get it. Hey, Booty, look at one. I got it. Are we gonna I think we found that? our tree. Now we just gotta carry it. Come on. Lukey, let's go. We picked it out. I couldn't find it out. We tried again. Let's take a picture. How much you guys want to take off of it? Start there and come down. Okay. Please. Hey, you know you got to put it in that baler and you got to put it on top of the floor. Yeah. Right there in the back of that pretty Paul thick pin Chevrolet. What are they doing to that? They're going to cut some branches off. Why? So we can fit it in a Christmas tree holder. That is all she wrote. Y'all see these crab traps? That's right, we're about to go pull a whole bunch of them and eat some fresh blue crab for dinner. We might even catch a stone crab. Why are you wearing a Seminole shirt? I don't know, the only t-shirt that was in the water. This is gator country. All right, so one thing I highly recommend when you get a Christmas tree, put the stand on before you even try to stand the tree up. Then you ain't fighting it so bad and having to have somebody hold it and put a level on it. I do it like this, makes it quick and easy. Tighten it down, Luke. You got it? Oh yeah, you're close. Got it. Let's go. Let's take it inside. Dad, how are we gonna get all that string off of it? How? Uh. Uh oh, it's almost too tall. What y'all think? It's a nice one. We just gotta trim the top a little. Every time you put your Look, our tree's a hair too tall. Hair yeah, too tall. We gotta move the couch out of our ways. Ah. Yeah. What? Rudolph. The red nose reindeer. Now we just gotta paint his nose right Paint it up on the wall. We ain't painting that there. That's my biggest bug ever. We ain't painting his nose. All right, got the Christmas tree up. Got all my rods back organized. Got the kids fed for lunch. Now we're going crabbing. Look at all these favorite rods though. What? All these favorite hats. Wink, wink, Christmas presents. I'll see y'all on the boat. Now we're going to try to hook the trap like what we were doing originally. Whenever you're crabbing, you always got to have an R on your trap. Pull it up. That's not a good sign. Not even a crab. 
Well, those were the hog's nuts, the boar hog that Aubrey killed in his foot. Not even a single crab. Let's go pull the rest of the trap. Well, we went from buying a Christmas tree, going home, setting that Christmas tree up to catching a big old cow nose ray. Now we're going to pull crab traps. Got the kids with us, all except for Luke. He stayed with Ari and Emma at mom's house. Hope y'all are enjoying this vlog style of video. I ain't never really done it. I've always tried to give y'all like a punchline, a catch, clean and cook. This is a little bit of everything. We'll see you in a minute. We're gonna be there to pull the trap soon. All right, we got the first trap. What we got? Got a couple in there. Looks like a little catfish. Hmm. That'll work. All right, now some of those aren't keepers and some are, so we gotta figure out which ones are and aren't. Which ones do you think, Jake? Uh, that one's not big enough, I don't think. I don't well, think. it has more to do with a female. All right, y'all see that? That's a male, that's a female. I think you can see why. You see that little pointer thing in my jigger and that one a little bit flat? Male, female. Pretty little female. She's going home. Male. Now these aren't the biggest, but we're in South Florida. I'm sure we're gonna catch some big ones, but these will eat just like big ones. Oh! Female. That's where they carry their eggs in that under that big flapper. That's a male. Easy, easy killer. So we got two keepers out of the deal and a catfish. Oh, whoa, whoa, Frank, Frank. All right, so yesterday we used hog scraps and just junk. Today we got mullet. We're gonna go with a little bit fresher bait. So this trap was sitting in three foot of water. There's a deeper hole. I'm gonna go over there and put this trap in that deeper hole. We got another trap right over there and then the rest are all down this line. Whenever you're throwing a trap in, always throw where you put the chum in on the bottom. That way the crabs can't sit there and eat it. Right now? Nine. Let's go pull some more. Bust a Yui and hit that next trap. All right, let's see what we got. I feel crabs. Holy macaroni! That's what I'm talking about. Whoa. 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 Y'all look at that. Whoa. There you go. All right, we got some keepers that time, much bigger too. Look at that. It's a crab train. Every one of them are keeper. Open this lid up, Jake. Under your feet. Here, Jake, let him get. <laughs> Heck, we got enough for a meal right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a male. That's a, That's a female. Almost got me. All right, Cap, let's put this one right back where we had it. We're putting this trap right back where we got it from. This boat is going to get nasty. It's all right. And they're getting bigger the farther back we go. I learned one thing from that last trap, and that's to get the chum out. 
before you go beating the boat. That double layer trap though was a lot harder to get them out of. Like, why does one have to hang on? All right, we're ready to go. Are we still near the number? Just a little behind us? All right, put her in gear, Cal. I found a shell with her. Easy, squeaky. It's a big old male, y'all. Ow! Gosh, he got me! He snuck up on me. Oh, whoa, watch him. Well, Jake, he snuck up on me. He got me again. Get in there, you punk. He went right up there. Whoa. Whoa. I'm eating you first. Angry. They're so angry. I have a feeling we're gonna be eating a bunch of crabs. I'm thinking about tender crabs with butter. Not butter. Well, I don't like crabs. Let's see if the idle speed trap's got any crabs. I put this one right here because of this channel sweeping in and out, hoping something come through it that way. I feel crabs, or not, maybe not, maybe not. We got one giant. So this was the one with the sea trout carcass in it and it didn't work very good. That was nasty. That might be a sign with that sea trout carcass. They might not like trout. Oh Lord, oh don't bite me. Here Jake. No! I ain't gonna smack nobody. All right, keep on going. This one had hog in it. Oh dear me, for dinner said they won't eat hog. And as y'all can see, there was hog in there and they ate it. So we'll rebate this one with a little bit more mullet. Just to give it some fresh scent. The old Mac Daddy. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. They can reach up these tongs, y'all. What these tongs remind me of? When Robert was like 18 years old, deer meat for dinner, he owned a fish market. He used to sell blue crabs. And this is what we'd get them out of the old wooden crates. And then women would come in there fighting about them. They always wanted to pick out their own crabs. Of course, they wanted to pick out the big ones. So we were like, no man, we got to do it. All right, so what we're doing is staggering them now. I have them all marked on my GPS so I know right where they're at. So we're gonna drop one and pull one at the same time. So we're not wasting time. Big fat goose egg on the hog. That last trap where I was calling Robert out, it also had bonita in it. This one just had just plain hog. Ain't got nada. So maybe deer meat was right. I hate to admit it. Jake, go get me some mullet. So all I'm doing is cutting these mullet open a little bit just to let some of that sin out. I think. Mullet were actually hard to get today. That's abnormal for Jupiter. I would normally stuff it full, but we only have so many right now. Drop it. This one is the butt one. Turn hard right now. There you go. Well, 
Well, this one had trout scraps and hog in it and ain't got nothing, but the door was open. That might not be good. This time I'm not gonna pull, I'm not gonna dump this trap till I pull that one. Cause if we're not catching any more crabs and we were catching crabs out there, I'll pull all these traps and put them that away. So that was the third trap in a row that the door was open, which means somebody got a little greedy and decided to pull the traps. At least they could do was shut the gate. But that's people for you. They're sorry. That's a good mess of crab. What happened? Left right? Left side. That's the last one. We got a good mess of crab for dinner. We're gonna take this boat back, clean it, which I cannot believe I got my Blackjack 224 out here like this, covered in rotten fish and mud. All right, y'all, so we just rushed back out, pulled all those traps that we that y'all watched us set yesterday, and we got Sheila. Sheila's Frank's new girlfriend. She don't know it yet. You better behave. Frank's the crab in the tank. All y'all already know it. We'll see y'all at the house, because all we got left to do is cook. All right, y'all, look at that. That's what we caught today. This is what we caught yesterday, and here is Sheila. I'm gonna see if I can do this without getting bit. Come on, girl, I'm trying to introduce you to your boyfriend. Just come out already. Oh, Lord. Frank, Whoop. just let it go. All right, here she goes, if I can let her go without getting bit. Now, before all y'all start hating that I got them in a little tank, I got a 150 gallon tank coming, so it won't be long. Let's see what happens. He is about to come unglued. Look at you. He just got shy and hid. Frank, I just put you a girlfriend in there. Well, that wasn't very exciting. So we got most of them in the can cooker. Time to put the lid on and let them cook. All right, y'all, this is my buddy Tyler. Grew up with him. Look what he just showed up with. He's like, he wanted blue crabs. He's like, but I got something else. He's kind of quick, so he is practically Bahamian. He's there all the time. He's gonna make a stone crab sauce and a sauce that we can use for the blue crabs. Let me get him. Some mayonnaise. He's a like, why does everybody choke up when y'all get in front of cameras? <laughs> everybody does it. Well, I don't know. A little bit of mustard. Yeah, a little zong. A little lemon juice. Try to look for the right color and consistency and that's all you need. Let me taste it. Oh, that's pretty good. Hold on, I'm going to show you something that's going to make that taste better. Pour just some of that in here. Y'all already know I'm gonna pull out the kimchi sauce. That's good. Now, let's see what it tastes like with this. Have you ever tried kimchi sauce? No, I haven't. Mmm. They're both good. Try, try that one. It's not what you would think. It just adds a little bit of good flavor. No, it is good. There's a little kick. Look at these, y'all. Like he shows up the colossals. Eat, yeah, he shows up to eat blue crabs and brings something better than blue crabs. Big as my hand. Mmm. <laughs> Take your pick. All right, y'all. So I'm sitting here popping the tops off and cleaning the guts out just so when we all sit down. We don't have quite the mess. And now I'm gonna put them back in the pot and cook them for like two minutes on high with actual seasonings on them. I see a lot of people put the seasonings on the shell and then cooking them. I can't really grasp what that does because I don't see how the seasoning could get in there. So I'm gonna do it this way. I ain't saying it's the right way. I ain't saying your way is the wrong way. This is how I'm doing it. All right, y'all, I know it's loud in here. We got a bunch of people. I'm gonna take just a little bit of the original can cooker creole now that we actually have these crabs clean 
and I'm going to put in here, put them all in here and warm them up, and then we're going to dump them on the table and go to town. I'm almost out. Y'all can't tell, I like it. I don't think we're eating all these crabs. Y'all better be hungry. Look at that one is hanging on. Put the lid on. As soon as it starts steaming, I'll pull the heat off and dump them. Everybody can start eating. Now y'all are going to see Tyler here again soon because Tyler wrecks the Wahoos over in the Bahamas and he's really good friends with a bunch of Bahamians. So we're going to go over there and do a conch video and a Wahoo video. These have already been cooked. They were frozen. So we're just going to put the lid on, let them warm back up for just a second and serve them like that. It's time to eat. Yeah. Next up is the stone crabs. Dad, you don't like stone crabs, do you? No. And for those of y'all that do know stone crabs, that's about $55 in the store, if not $65. You can't have crab without the butter. Y'all made fun of me about having too much butter, but I don't think I had enough. Where's Dad at? I'm right here. Say the blessing. Lord, thank you for this day, thank you for this food, and thank you for the time to share together. Thank you for dying on the cross, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right, get down and start eating some crab. I think I don't like it. Hey, look over here. Look over here. Mm -hmm. We still got a whole lot more. That ain't all of it. Tool of what? choice. Show us, Tyler. Down. Mother, what's she doing over here? Cleaning it. Hey, Charlotte, ready me? to get her some. Oh, yeah. Charlotte, you want some crab? You want some crabs, baby? Here you go. What do you think about that? She's ready. That was a serious chunk of meat. That's good. One. Ain't nobody studying your potato salad any attention. I guarantee you that's what I'm most excited about. <laughs> Sit down there, Rico. You know I will. All y'all that like those little pop-ups in the last video, you can thank Rico for that. Oh yeah, so they did the Snook video, the Red Snapper video, the Skipjack Tuna video too, right? Yeah. The Skipjack Tuna video, those two boys are in high school and they did it for me. Y'all see that Christmas tree? Mm. Tyler. Where's Tyler go? That's not what was that buck you killed this year? Uh, low 150s, up in Illinois. Dad shot him a big buck this year, but this things didn't work out and he didn't get him. Have you killed one yet, Daniel? I have. Showed him the I got a doe. I'm, I'm cleaning the house, but that's all right because Charlotre's yeah. tearing down. Right. Y'all want to know where my buck is? I missed one big white tail and shot a little old coal buck. That's it. That's a mound of crab. Here, Gabriel. Mm. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. What, what? I just dumped it in. I want some of this. Mm. I, I got a crab on my back. That was so good. <laughs> Y'all, that was pure... I don't even know what to say. Mad chaos. Big shout out to Tyler bringing that stone crab we thought we were just gonna have blue crabs he showed up with a whole bunch of stone crabs daniel and his wife mom for bringing the world's best potato salad thank you i guarantee you you might be able to cook better than me but you can't make better potato salad than her <clears throat> justin will tell you mm -hmm. uh -huh. that sounded like tk and mike uh -huh. mm -hmm. hey we have done work Hope you like this style of vlog video. I've got a bunch of requests for it. Hey, we went and got Christmas trees and got shoes for the kids and we cooked and we caught crabs and we did everything. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the shares. Thanks for the positive comments. But until next time, like Jake says, we get in the heck out of shape.